for doing this weekend with Yeah, Dante. a lot of swimming with the little guy. It's swimming season, and the kids usually can't wait to get in the water, but there are some risks we should all be aware of. And we have a good friend of the show here, Dr. Imran Ali. He is the resident physician of internal medicine. So, so what are some of the biggest problems that you see uh, when kids are swimming in the pool? What should well, they look out for? We got a lot of bacteria sometimes. Cryptosporidium, Pseudomonas, uh, Legionella. That sounds scary. It's, oh, uh, yeah. it's pretty scary. <laughs> Those are in swimming pools, public pools? Public pools, even treated pools. Mm -hmm. You can see Cryptosporidium last up to 10 days, even in a good chlorinated pool. Wow. That's why everybody must shower before going into the swimming pool and then shower afterwards. What? It happens to you if you contract that or you're swimming with the bacteria? Well, cryptosporidium, if you swallow just a little bit of water, mm -hmm. that can cause a diarrheal illness. It can last anywhere between five days oh. up to even 10 days, uh -oh. two weeks. No good. And, and this is mostly for kids, 1 to 14. You say this is the highest risk? No, well, it, adults, you and I, anybody mm -hmm. can contract this disease. Okay. So it's something that we want to really keep track of. And, you know, you can tell if the swimming pool is dirty mm -hmm. or clean. Just right. by looking at it. It should be clear, right? You don't it want to be clear. You should be able to see Simple. the drain on the bottom. Yeah. And also, if it smells really chlorine, mm -hmm. really the chlorine smells yeah. very strong. You think maybe it's this is cleaned a lot of chlorine. Actually, that's wrong. Oh. Chlorine mixed with sweat and sometimes urine can cause a re chemical reaction that gives you something called chloramine. Mm -hmm. Chloramine gives you that strong smell. So the stronger the smell of the chlorine isn't necessarily a good thing. Is not a good okay. thing. We'll, that means that the we'll keep an eye out probably that. not that clean. But, but how about uh, tips for some parents out there, things that they should think of so when Teresa or any moms or dads at home watching, what are some quick things that they should remember you, when going into the you pool? You just can never take your eyes off the, the little absolutely, ones. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, ages 1 through 14, the second leading cause of injury uh, related death, drowning is. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just, you know, a little kid running by swimming pool you know, a ball falls in, they try to grab it, oh, and then yeah. they tip over. Yeah. So it's just very, very important. And also, you know, you, you go feet first into the shallow end, no diving, you know, common sense uh, things, and then learn how to swim. There you go, that's there important. Is. Dante takes swimming lessons every Saturday morning. I, I still wear my swimmies. I don't know you about you those. guys. <laughs> yeah. And hot tubs are kind of are, they kind of gross me out a little hot bit, tubs, I'm not gonna I, lie. I love them. <laughs> no, they're, I mean, they're good, they're good if you keep them clean. Again, you have to keep the pH at a certain level. You can even buy those little strips, yeah. you know, five dollars, mm -hmm. stick the strip and see if the pH you is. Jump in. Oh, you right, can do yeah. that actually. Oh, so Bring you're not supposed to go in you. at the same time and just dip right in there? Oh no, I'm not going to go in there. But that's <laughs> but good advice. There's I mean. something you can something called hot tub uh, rash, which is a uh, folliculitis from the hot tub. It can affect. It's a rash, but it's minor. What's really more important is the Legionella, which can come from the hot tub if you have any wheezing or respiratory issues. I would think twice before going into a hot tub because also, you know, all the the bacteria can be aerosolized. Mm. But I don't want to scare people. Right. I mean, <laughs> swimming is an amazing, excellent way to exercise. Right. You just have take to be aware of it. Take the right? precautions, right? Just right. take a shower before going in. Be kind. If you have diarrhea, don't go swimming that That's day. That's it. There you <laughs> go. That's your tip of the day. Doc, thank you so much for that.